Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Virtue's Last Reward. Today we're leaving the rec room because we can. And then we're going to play the AB games. I'm assuming there's going to be some new stuff seeing how we're on a completely different route. But we'll probably be skipping a bunch of stuff as well. Uh, time to kiss this weird ass room goodbye. I actually had a rather nice time. Whatever. I'd rather forget any of this ever happened. Three, two, one. The key just breaks off in the lock. Like, we're trapped! I wonder if they would be able to open up from the outside with, like, the lever again. Probably not. Interesting. <sighs> what is this place? A warehouse? Hey, look over there. Those doors are white. Shall we have a look then? I mean, I can see him from here. But sure, let's get closer. Are these chromatic doors too? They're all the same though. Well, this one's locked. This one won't open either. No luck here. It looks like they have the same locking mechanism as the other chromatic doors. So these will be the next doors to open. And we should go let the others know. Alice and I turn to go, but Kay stay put. Is something wrong? No. I just feel as if I've seen this warehouse before. Wait, you've been here before? I don't know. Perhaps I haven't been here. Only somewhere very similar. You mean like the one above this place? You mean the floor A warehouse? <laughs> yeah, right? Perhaps. An ambidex gate has been opened. Thanks, Dio. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. What the hell? Someone else must have opened one of the AB gates. Before we got back? I imagine they don't care what happens to the rest of us. That would be the most logical explanation. I know, right? In any event, we should return quickly. Yeah. Let's get going, guys. Oh, yeah, this lock thing. I don't know why. Sometimes it just slips in my mind. Good thing they show it every time, though. And this. This is good, too. <laughs> I wonder how much time it actually is spent on these screens. Like, if I took each part of this Let's Play where it was just these screens, like the map screens going back, or the doors opening, the, the elevators going up, I wonder how long that actually is. Like, what, what did that, what's it add up to? Eternity? Because it feels like it. Sigma? I. Where's Tim's team? Uh, they're not back yet? We were the first. Then wait a little longer before you open the AB gate. It wasn't us. I tried to stop him, but... Oh, come on, it's not like when we open the door really affects the matches, right? It's cool. No, it's not cool. Your team returned quite early, Dio. Did your investigation go smoothly? I guess. Which room did you guys go to? Treatment center. Treatment center? How's that different from the infirmary? Uh, there were these pod things. Pod people? Oh, just go see for yourself, all right? I don't feel like explaining it. You took something from the treatment center, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? You did. I saw it too. Should we tackle him? After we opened the safe, you grabbed something out of it and put it in your pocket. What did the treatment center have? Show us what you took. Uh, get away from me. Clover shoved her hands into Dio's pocket and began to dig around. It should be in this one. Let go. Before Dio could push her away, Clover found what she was looking for. I knew it. An injection gun. The label on the vial says Neostigmine. What's this stuff for? No, but 
Yes, you do. He told me right before you committed suicide. I feel like I've heard that name before somewhere. Give it back. I found it, so it's mine. Hey! With a d desperate lunge, Dio managed to grab the gun back from Clover. But before she had a chance to protest... Hi. Have any of you seen Quark? No. Anyone? Please. Quark? Did something happen to him? We found a pantry on the other side of the red door, but after we left, he just disappeared. He does that. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. Think he's lost? Don't you think you're being a little optimistic there? Come on. What? That little jerk's probably dead by now. We've already found one corpse, right? Oh, right. Yes. What the hell is wrong with you? A lot of things. How could you? Why would you say such a horrible thing? Whoa, simmer down there. Simmer down now. It's a possibility. Well, even if it, we all, uh, even if it is, we should all be looking for him. Yes. As we began to file out, I saw Alice staring intently into the corner of the warehouse. It seems strange, but looking for Quark was my priority. I turned and headed towards the magenta door. Oh, she's dead, isn't she? Right? Right, this is the right where she, well, no, this is a branch of the right where she died. So she might live. Probably not. Can I skip this? No. Wishful thinking. Lork! Are you here? Did you get your crunk on? I guess not. Damn. Let's try floor B then. <laughs> we searched one room. We searched one room and we're like, yeah, time to go to the next floor. <laughs> I mean, I guess the other people are looking in the other rooms, but still. I don't know why that's hilarious to me. It's like, oh, I checked one room. Gotta move on now. You think it's over two, three hours? Of these screens. That's probably too long. It just feels like an eternity. Ten's team took the red door. They probably already searched the area pretty thoroughly then. Maybe I'll try the blue door. Because I'm blue dabba diva. Is this the uh, garden or the treatment center? It's the rec room! <laughs> I should have really remember that. We just went through that door. Gork! Where are you? He's not here. I'm gonna play a game of pool. Oh, Sigma. Any luck? No. Nothing. I can't find him anywhere. I see. What about you? Never mind. If you found him, you'd have said something about it already. Indeed. I went to the treatment center, as well as the Floor B warehouse, but he was not there. Oh, well. Let's head back to the Floor A warehouse. Idea. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Or they're dead. Well, did you find him? Yeah, but I'm not telling you. Sorry, we couldn't find him anywhere. I, I see. Are the three of you the only others to have returned? Yeah, we're it. <laughs> emotion, Fi. Some emotion. Yeah, no clues or anything. I don't get it. With this many people looking, it seems like we'd be able to find him pretty fast. Quark is only a child. It's possible he's become trapped in a small, enclosed space. Well, couldn't we at least be able to hear him calling for help? Yeah, you're right. Quark. Ten's shoulders slumped. He looked old, much older than we than he had when we met. I could see tears glistening at the corners of his eyes. For just a moment, I saw in them all of his pain, fear, and despair, and it felt like someone had put my heart in a vase. A vice, not vase, vice. Then Dio appeared, and the mood suddenly changed. Hey, you guys, come here. What are you standing Dio? around for? They're in the crew quarters. Okay. Just come what? on. 
Did you did did you kill Alice? If he doesn't end up being the murderer, I'll be very surprised. In probably not a good way, because I feel like that would just be a weird twist just to have a twist. You set up so much evidence that Dio is the murdering dick. Oh. Oh my god, Luna! What the hell? Ow. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. That's two for one special. There was a roaring in my ears, breathing, heartbeat, and my footsteps sounded muffled as if I was hearing them through layers of carton. I pressed the shaking hand to Alice's neck, which was kind of pointless seeing how I saw the bra bracelet on the ground. Her skin was still warm but the only pulse I felt was my own. Looking down, it was clear why. Something had been driven into a chest so far that only the hilt was visible. The entire front of her body was covered in blood. No one could survive something like that. Well, there have been miraculous survivals of many different types of injuries that should have been instantly fatal, but without any sort of, like, doctor or anything, she'd totally be dead. I mean, our only doctor is actually dead over there. I forced myself to swallow a stinging lump in my throat and turn towards Luna. Unlike Alice, at first glance she seemed unharmed, except for the fact that her bracelet was on the ground, thus meaning she was dead! As I reached for her neck to check for her pulse, again completely useless, I saw a red mark near her jawline. Nearby on the floor was an injection gun. I already knew what I would find, but I pressed my fingers to her neck and waited. Nothing. They're... they're dead. Oh my god. What on earth happened here? That was a weird my god. That bastard killed them! Whoever Who? was that killed the old lady in the A-B room? You're saying this mystery person killed Luna and Alice? Maybe only one of them was supposed to be killed, but the murderer had to kill the other to keep them quiet. Or perhaps they killed one another. How? How, Kay? How, brown cow? Luna stabbed Alice in the chest, after which... Alice attacked her with the injection gun. I mean... No? That's pretty far-fetched. Yeah, and that's a pretty bad Pokemon. Look. Look at Alice's clothes. No sign of a struggle. I don't think they fought. Then were they killed somewhere else and then brought here? No. If that were the case, there would be much less blood. To be fair, there's a lot less blood than there should be for someone who was stabbed in the heart. I guess that's true. Whatever the case, we have too few clues to figure it out right now. We'd all separated to look for Quark. Any one of us could have done it. You mean the killer is one of us? You think there's someone else in here? Hell, maybe! We found a dead old woman! It could be anyone here! Do you think that Zero Senior killed these two, as well as the old woman? Yeah, that guy too! The hologram dude! Hmm. Oh, give me a break. I can't just sit around here talking. No point in making a fuss. Are you fucking kidding me? One of us is a killer. Yeah, I wonder who it is. I can't think of a better reason to make a fuss. You do realize you're the most likely suspect, don't you? Because you're a dick. Excuse me? And like a killer. You wait until the rest of us have gathered in the warehouse. Then you kill Alice and Luna. You pretended to be the first to find them and... Are you saying I did this? Yeah. I'm just saying it's a possibility. Like a pretty big possibility. You don't need to get so worked up about it. Yeah. A lot of protesting kind of makes you seem guilty. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex... I know for a fact that goes. that was not 35 minutes. It has only been 14 minutes and some change. That's from when I started the episode, let alone when the buzzer thing was wrong. All players... Please enter your votes. Buzzer thing, Cronus? The button! The start button! If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. I feel like they should mention being penalized here. So if you don't vote, or your choice is set to ally, right? I guess that means Luna's vote will be ally for this round. Yes, it does. Perhaps that outcome is what the killer was after. 
And killed Alice and Luna for that? Who's Luna's opponent be? Who would Luna's opponent be? Mark and myself. One person is missing and the others bought the farm. I'd say this old fart's the most suspicious one here. You want to say that to my face? I think he just did, dog. Yeah. You killed her so you could get a few more points in the AB game. Are you an idiot? How do you explain Alice? She's playing against Kay, not me. Uh, not quite. Oh, oh. Wait, are you solo? Even without his partner, Alice, Sigma will still be able to cast oh, a vote. Oh, I thought we were going to get free points there. Then maybe that's why Luna died. Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went wrong and they... True. I suppose that is a possibility. But we are engaging in pure speculation here. There is little to no evidence to support any of this. Well, we should probably head back to the warehouse. We should take their bracelets with us then. Yeah. Huh? Do they really matter anymore? Without their bracelets, some of us would be unable to open the secondary chromatic doors. You're pretty calm, pal. Too calm. You did it, didn't you? A sterling deduction. I await your further insight. He wears a mask, therefore he is guilty, perhaps? What did you just say? Are you fucking with me? I think he's fucking with you, dog. Knock it off! Uh, is there a reason any... Is there really any point to arguing about this? Agreed. We aren't getting any younger here. I apologize. <laughs> we should return to the warehouse. Alice. Come on, Clover. We gotta go. No. I'm not going anywhere. I can't just leave her here. I mean, he could. She's dead. Clover. If you don't vote, Dio might get out. Huh? He's got six BP right now. If you don't vote, you will automatically ally. And I bet my left arm he'll pick Betray. I'll bet my entire body. That'd be three points, which will put him at nine. Once he's got that, there's nothing stopping him from opening the number nine door. I'll try and pick Ally, of course. But Dio's not an idiot. He'll try and stop me or get in my way somehow. Dio will have nine points? What are you going to do, Clover? If you stay here, you might be letting Alice's killer get away. Yeah. Fine. Go pick that betray. Do it. There's no way I'm going to let him get nine points. Good. Let's go. I mean, that means Fi's going to lose some points, right? Or get none? I'm assuming they're both going to pick betray. Five minutes remain. Until Five minutes? That's actually a fairly long time. I took a deep breath and unlocked the AB room. No matter how hard I looked for an answer, or answer is all I found were more questions. Who had killed Alice and Luna? Where was Quark? I wasn't in any kind of mood to be play along with Zero's ridiculous game, but at this point, I didn't really have a choice. I heaved a silent sigh and started towards the entrance of the AB room. Sigma. What would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate, of course. You have five BP. If we both ally, then you will gain two points, leaving you with seven in total. Should you also cooperate mutually in the following round, you would gain another two points, bringing you to nine. Yeah. Conversely, if you were to choose to betray me during this round, you would gain three points, a total of eight. In other words, you will be unable to reach nine BP until the round following this one. That being the case, choosing ally is the most logical choice. True, but how many points do you have? As I recall, you and Clover Troth betray in the first AB game. That means you should have 6 BP right now. If you betray me and get around another 3, you can get all the way to 9 this round. Ah, yes, that is true. However, Escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. It's not? But you people trained the first round, didn't you? That was in the interest of my own safety. As I only had three points at the time, the prospect of losing two of them was very unsettling. Now that I have six BP, I have some room for error. Why wouldn't you want to get out of here as soon as you possibly could? Of course I would like, but attempting to well, do so would like to. unwise. Why is that? Isn't it obvious? If I escape on my own, everyone else will be trapped here forever. Huh? What are you talking Have about? I've forgotten what Zero told us. The number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It'll close 
looks good after nine seconds. So if you're not careful, you can get stuck. What if we just gathered a bunch of stuff from like all around this place and blew the door open? I trust you. I mean, there's now. bound to be a way to make a bomb here somewhere. Like a lower bomb. Not like the three bombs that are gonna annihilate everything. <laughs> so if someone opens it and escapes. Yes. Did you not realize? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. Hey, don't tell me you're planning to just leave us all in the lurch and take off by yourself. I would never do that. Wouldn't you though? Consider the following. If I did manage to get to nine points before anyone else. Do you think the rest of our companions would allow me to leave? Yeah, no, I would think not, but... Psh, who am I to say? Especially knowing that if they did, they would remain here for the rest of their lives? I don't know. Of course we'd stop you. Nah, you, you think, but no, nah, that probably wouldn't happen. You see? Working toward leaving as a group is the most logical choice for me. One minute. Remains until Abadex game polling closes. Our time is nearly up. I trust you will choose wisely. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably just pick Ally because I always pick Ally first and it comes back to bite me in the goddamn ass. Unless it's with Dio, then I choose Betray and still get a game over. Alright, so I'll probably pick Ally. He'll probably betray my ass and then, uh, soon and get a game over, but we'll see. Thirty seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Kay had a compelling argument, but I still had to make my choice. Would he really choose the ally? If I chose ally and he chose betray, he'd have nine points and I have two. Still, even if he did have nine points, he might not try and escape right away. The question was, how much could I trust him? How much trust could I give a man whose face I've never seen and who wrote a mechanical zero ride 10 seconds remain on nine eight seven, seven six, six five four, four come on three, two one look i already know this is probably gonna come back to bite me in the ass but yeah why break tradition go ahead and ally so i can come back and you know betray you later because you'll probably betray me now Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. You know what? You know what? How about we don't even wait for the points to see if he betrays me? Guess what's gonna happen? Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Shocker, right? Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. And let me guess, I'll come back here, choose Betray, and then he'll choose Ally, and I'll be the bad guy. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please stop. Betray, Betray, yeah. Betray, Ally. Well, she's dead. It doesn't really matter. Ally, betray, of course. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. I'm not even mad anymore, I'm just kinda know it's just gonna happen. What? So you did indeed choose ally. You tricked me. I apologize. Sigma, you fucking idiot. You're one to talk. Case got nine points thanks to your stupid ass. Oh, suck my dick. But he's not gonna just leave us. Oh yes, he is. Are oh, you stupid, Sigma? I apologize for taking further advantage of your trust, but I will be leaving. What? Before we could react, Kay slipped past us with speed and agility that belayed his, belayed his size. In the blink of his eye, and eye, he was standing in front of the number nine door. Of course, he gets to leave, but I can't. God damn it! Wait, you son of a bitch! He didn't give any sign that he heard Dia, just grabbed the lever and pulled it down. 
That's really what you're supposed to do. I just kind of roll underneath the door as it's opening. Oh no. Not me myself, but like if I had nine points, I'd totally as the door's open just roll underneath it. I think I'll wait for that thing to open, give them a chance to get up to me. Why did you do it? I trusted you, Kay. The answer is obvious. Two, excuse me, three people have already been murdered. If I remain, I place myself in greater danger. Oh, you're the old woman. I'm like, who the hell is the third person that was a murdered? Decision, really. I'm sure you would have done. God damn it, I Kay! Apologize. I do intend to contact the police as soon as I have escaped. Now then. Kay, wait. He didn't even turn around. Who could have seen this coming? The number yeah, door closed is over is by blah released. game over dots dots that is not actually game over dots <sighs> he's gone damn it ah, I kind of thought it was just gonna be game over this is all your fault Sigma oh boohoo there's no point to blaming him now yeah it's not like we can open that door again you try ah, damn it no this isn't right this can't be right we stood there in silence, staring at the door. The only exit in the to the outside world, now closed forever. Our only chance of escape now was the hope Kay would keep his word and contact the police. Alice Luna, the old woman, who had killed them. And where had Cork gone? There were questions we still hadn't answered, but we had plenty of time now. Perhaps we still would. dun 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 all right, so we'll go back in time. We'll portray uh, Special K and uh, go from there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.